Okay, so the first thing I noticed is this was packaged really, really well. If you are curious to who the seller is, I will pin the name up for Instagram so you guys can go over and request um, a jumping spider yourselves. It was an absolutely great service provided. I paid, I think it was £18 for the actual jumping spider itself. And then the little hide there was only £1. The reason I ordered this already was purely so I could just build something simplistic. And um, for me, first time keeper, I just wanted to get it right. So I ordered everything just ready, um, provided a smoothie cup and also the hide. So I will be building the setup with you today very briefly, just a little bit of my usual tropical mixed soil, moss soaking um, in some water to get anything out. And you can see those things are on the side. So I'm glad I always do this and some small pieces of spider wood as well. I will be using some plant cuttings uh, from a propagation uh, cups, but either way, those I will also tell you the Latin names as I go through. So if you guys are wanting to use these, then you can, but they are just very, very slow growing species. Just make sure when you have your moss that you do soak it through quite a few times. I've rinsed this four or five times to get it clear. At first, it's very, very mucky. Watermelon Magonia, I will be using this because it's a very, very slow growing species of plant. And um, yeah, I'll be just be taking the long cutting of that. But the first thing is to get this lady into the original cup that she came in while I build the setup in that cup that I've placed her in. I should have thought about this beforehand, but either way, it worked really well because she went straight into that hide as I put in the cup, which was kind of intended, but I didn't expect it to go that smoothly. I'll be speeding a lot of this build up purely because I am viewing from above. So it's very hard to see what I'm trying to do until the end. Um, but either way, I do add the original things like springtails. Um, I didn't add any isopods. I felt like that was kind of unnecessary. But the plants I added was a bit watermelon, begonia. I added some moss that I gathered myself from one of my prop uh, propagation bins. And this here is peacock spike moss. If you guys are wanting to get these plants yourself, you can and um, I'll also put the Latin names up just now. You also do see at the end as well, I actually added a fruit fly in here for it to eat. I do film it for a short while, but as typically I stop filming, she decides to eat it. I look at her hide a little bit later on and she has ate it up. Now that hide is completely webbed up and um, she's taken full advantage of that. So if you are getting one, I would advise paying the extra one pound for one of these little hides because they are absolutely amazing. Just a quick one to say that I can't thank you all enough for all of the support you've shown me, all of my members as well at the same time. I just want to give you a quick shout out and say that I love you all to pieces. We've got Miko Ants, we've got Anti Matters, Rebecca Crook, um, we've got Wakushi himself, we also have Aunt Holifer and a family member, Happy Aunt UK. So thank you as well. But all of you, I love you all to pieces. And thank you, thank you, thank you. There's uh, quite a lot of you as well who are suggesting certain videos in the comments below. So if there is anything you would like to request from me, do that. And what we'll do is I'll be making a massive list of all the suggestions from you guys. I'll then start creating polls on my YouTube channel where basically you guys can actually vote on the videos that you want to see. Um, obviously, the other ones that are also in the castings, even if they don't get decided on that one, you know, it will always be in that suggestion reel or in the um, poll of votes and always stay on the list. Okay, so finally, this is complete. I will show you what it looks like. I do like the final result. I think it looks really, really nice for what it is as well. And I think little Blondie here is going to absolutely love it. I'm still a little Blondie, but I want you guys to decide on the name. So let me know what we should call her. There should be some sort of vote below. And then what we'll do is we'll make a poll on here as well. And then we can vote for the best name. Um, so suggestions below. If you like the video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos or updates on this lady. And as always from me, peace and love. I'm out.